Hi guys, and uh, welcome back, or welcome to uh, Jay Howarth Golf. Um, we're here today at the uh, Scott Howarth Performance Studio at Davenport Golf Club. So one of the other videos I've previously done, we talked about the hold on the uh, on the grip, you know, for for kind of like a, a full swing uh, or a pitch shot. Um, so I want to look, touch a little bit on why it's slightly different when we're holding a putter. So if you watch my previous video, you'll see uh, very much advocated holding it more in the fingers, which again allows us to kind of set the club properly. You know, use use the wrist almost as a lever uh, to create a bit more club head speed. So a couple of little things that I like to see when when holding the putter. So when we look at it from kind of down the line view, I like to see this club shaft running up the forearms. So if you see there from behind, put runs up the forearms. And in order to do that, we need to hold the club through the ball through the lifelines of the uh, of the hands. So um, if you look at it from the down the line perspective, so if you look at my left hand there, it runs very much through the palm or the lifeline, which is the, the line from the first knuckle up through the middle of the middle of the hand there. So if we kind of pull our left hand and it fits through the lifeline and then the right hand kind of mirrors it. You know, some people like to have it further down. Some people like to kind of cover it over maybe a couple of fingers on the left hand there to kind of get them a little bit closer together, which kind of helps level the shoulders out and all that. So, you know, I kind of hold it that way. Palms are very much facing each other. The reason I really like this as well is palms obviously facing each other helps control that club face. You know, imagine if I had one, one palm in a, or one hand in a good position and I had, say, my right hand too much underneath, as I'm making my stroke, if my right hand kind of wants to come into play, it's always going to want to close that club face. And, you know, we know very much we're putting the face is massive in starting the ball online. Um, so that's, that's the reason we do that. And then, so what, you know, why do we hold it in the palms rather than the fingers? So, like I say, you know, we hold it in the fingers to create a little bit of a lever system to create some more speed. But we're putting, you know, it's not all about, you know, creating loads of club head speed because we don't need to create club head speed. You know, if we're playing on greens, which are of a reasonable speed, you know, it's only a matter of stroke with a little bit, tiny bit of speed to kind of control that distance. So if we hold it in the palms, it gives a little bit more control over this club face. And it also stops any sort of, you know, I think I demonstrated on my other video when we talked about holding the club for a normal shot. You know, if I hold it more in the in the palms, I've got less range of motion in my wrists, so there's less going to go on with this club head. You know, imagine if I had it in the fingers, I've got a lot more play in the hands and arms there. So if I kind of hold it more in the palms, it really stabilises that face. You know, and then like I said before, because we've got that putter shaft running up the forearms, it's it's almost you know we can kind of keep that motion and almost like a pendulum there, you know, letting it all kind of swing, control very much from the torso, uh, arms and club all kind of stay together. Uh, another little, great little tip, um, so once we've got into a good setup, good grip on the club, club's running nicely at the forearms there. So imagine the gap between the foot end of this club and my right forearm. I like to very much keep it the same throughout the whole stroke, which is going to you know, not allow this club face to do too much, too much sort of opening and closing, or too much change with the loft. So if we keep that nice and constant, so the gap between that right forearm, imagine if we had like a, you know, you can hit some putts, you put a golf ball in there and almost feel like, right, okay, I'm going to maintain that golf ball's width throughout the whole stroke. It's really going to help control what loft we deliver on the club face at impact. Uh, and also it's going to stop that putter face from you know, doing too much rotation throughout the stroke. So it's really going to sort of help dial in that, that putter face at impact so we can start the ball on our intended line. So I hope, I hope these little tips help. Um, you know, don't want to get too much in depth with it and too technical. So, you know, obviously the season's approaching now. You'll be able to obviously start getting out on the course a little bit more, get on the putting green and start sort of working on your stroke. So, you know, give these little tips a, um, a go. Um, obviously, if you've used them and you like them, you know, post in the comments. Uh, I'd like to hear hear your thoughts. Um, any suggestions for future videos? Again, post in the comments below. Uh, and you know, again, thanks for watching. Um, remember to subscribe. Obviously, like if you uh, if you enjoyed watching this, and uh, I'll have more videos to come soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.